Well, within the next year, GRTC will be expanding some of its bus routes deeper into Chesterfield, Henrico, and Goochland counties. But to do so, it does need to combat its driver shortage. And of course, this comes at a time when the transit system is also trying to restore its service level back to pre-pandemic levels. John Hood joining us live. He's speaking with GRTC officials tonight. And John, how many new drivers are we talking about here? Yeah, hey, Kurt Mikia. Uh, well, as of this evening, GRTC has 235 full-time bus drivers, and it's trying to get to 300 by next summer. So it's offering everything from training to increased pay to get there. In the next year, GRTC has plans to extend several of its bus routes into the suburbs around Richmond to better connect the greater Richmond area including one of its routes down Midlothian Turnpike. Extending both of them means putting more drivers on the routes, which means having more drivers available. Right now, the transit system has almost 50 fewer drivers than it did before the start of the pandemic, but it's enticing candidates to apply with a pay raise of close to $25 an hour. It's absolutely true that nationwide there is an operator shortage in public transit. It's one of the reasons why we launched a historic pay increase for our operators. It was more than a 40% increase. Henry Benden with GRTC says they're also still offering commercial driving license training for drivers as they continue to get back to service levels for some routes by the end of summer. The 5, which is one of our most important routes, will come back to 15-minute frequency on weekdays, and the Pulse will be able to operate at 15 minutes all the way through Saturday. Benden says GRTC on average is doing two classes with new drivers every month and are seeing those classroom numbers go up. Our goal is to be back at 300 full-time equivalent operators by the end of the fiscal year. So next June, if we have 300 operators, that is a reflection of our training program going well and our hiring going well, and our service will be back exactly where we want it to be. Now, if you're interested in driving for GRTC, we have that information over on our website. For now, on your side, John Hood, NBC 12 News. All right, thank you.